Hello my beautiful crafting friends and welcome back to my channel. Firstly, I'd like to apologise greatly um, for not doing a video in the last two weeks. Um, I've had a bit of a tinkering palaver with good old scammers. Um, sadly, which I'm not happy about, I replied to a text which I shouldn't have done, but I googled. So I got a text and it was for a fixed penalty um, for driving. And we'd just been up to Bristol um, to buy our minibus to convert into a camper. So anyway, <laughs> I thought, oh no, it's most probably because they've got like a clear zone area in the city so and i thought well we drove on the outside so how can it happen on um on the outside <laughs> so anyway um i googled it because i thought let's make sure this is a legitimate so i typed in i think it was pnc are they legitimate um company and it automatically come up with the government um, website and a little note underneath saying, yes, this is a legitimate website. So I clicked on that website and it looked like the Google, um, the government website. So I thought, right, OK, then perhaps we did get caught up. It, we just skirted into it somewhere. Because um, we've, I've never been to Bristol, so I wouldn't know. And especially when they've got these clear air zone areas in these cities. Um, so anyway, I went back onto the text, opened the link, and it come up with this government website. Put my details in. Well, my bank said I had to approve, and when I went onto my bank. It was saying, oh, you need to approve Apple Pay. And I'm thinking, why is go get the government using Apple Pay? Oh, no. I know what I've done. And I am always on the case to my hubby, never to click on links. <laughs> and I did it because I hate the thought of getting a fixed penalty. And then they, because like here, if you get a penalty, if you don't pay it within so many days, it's like doubles and triples in plus side. So, I mean, the only time I've ever had one is, um, oh, donkey's years ago. And that was because my ticket ran out um, in the car park by a couple of minutes. Yeah. So, yes, um, and then all of a sudden, in three different areas of the UK, within an hour, they tried to withdraw £450 out of my bank. Thankfully, the bank declined it because, it, I mean, one was London, one was not. And I mean, within an hour, you wouldn't have got to Nottingham in an hour, um, unless you can do it by magic. So, yeah, um, thankfully the bank declined it. I went into, and because my phone pings me when transactions have been attempted or when I've done a transaction, it lets me know, was this you? So the next morning I went straight to the bank and I said, this has happened. Thankfully the bank's declined it. What have I got to do? So she goes, right, we'll cancel your card and we'll do it as stolen and we'll send you out a new card and a new pin happy days <laughs> thank you so she said yeah just be aware well anyway five days later my new card turns up and i'm there patiently waiting for my pin because you need your pin to activate your card your new card so i'm there waiting for my card and then in the, uh, the next night ping ping on my phone comes notifications from nat west so up in Nottingham, 
Now, I live five and a half hours away from Nottingham. <laughs> I'd been to Sainsbury's and done a big shop in Sainsbury's and I went across the road to KFC and had um, Kentucky Fried Chicken. Well, the thing is, is I was sat down here in Dorset <laughs> in my pyjamas. So and I'm thinking, well, I know I haven't been there. And uh, with the notifications, it come up with the last four numbers of my new car. And I'm thinking, well, how can that be when I haven't got my new PIN number? So I'm up all night panicking and thinking, oh, my giddy aunt. So I am deactivating my PayPal, my eBay. Um, I shut down my Facebook pages anything where it had my phone number and possibly they had um my bank details so shut all that down next morning went to the bank um they put me in contact with the fraud team and started talking to him and we get cut off so i went back out and i was like what's what am i going to do and she says right we'll cancel this card straight away she said i'm not going to order you a new one until you speak to fraud so i went okay she said what do you want to do and i went i want to draw my money out of my bank please um i said but what's going to happen with these two things because they were pending which was good because obviously where how far away they were and um, she said, sadly, they'll still come out, but the bank will refund you it because you're here, not up there. And I went, OK. So I got home, phoned up fraud, and he looked up and he said, yeah. He said, the problem is, is when they cancelled your last card and it was cancelled as stolen, you keep your old PIN number. So as soon as that card was allocated to me, I'm just making sure I'm recording. <laughs> yeah, as soon as that card was allocated to me, it was active. So, and because these scammers use Apple Pay, you don't require a PIN number. So you just go, and I think it's the same with Google Pay. Um, you go up to any machine and you just tap your phone on it and it pays for the goods. So that's what happened. So they had to cancel the new card and get, cancel my old pin number and so yes and i've been running backwards and forwards to the banks because i had to open up another bank account so i could quickly pay some direct debits because obviously i was not going to leave my money in that bank for that duration until everything sorted i've received my new card but i still haven't received <laughs> my pin number so yeah so Moral of the story, if your bank card ever gets used in a fraudulent act and the bank declares it is stolen and cancels it, you ask for a new PIN number. It absolutely infuriates me that you have these apps now where you can pay with just tapping it on a um, card machine because it is letting these scammers get away with so much and i mean thankfully um i'm not a person that's a single parent or a family that's on a real tight budget i mean that all that money could have been taken out of their bank and the bank could have like taken their time in paying it back i mean it's and to, I mean, can you imagine if I was elderly? I know I'm in my 50s, but can you imagine if I was elderly? It's absolutely diabolical that they feel like they can do this and be happy to do it. And there's so much of it going on. The fraud gentleman, he was so, so nice. He looked up and he said, it is a nightmare for him. Absolute nightmare because... Obviously, the banks are having to pay people back. And, I mean, whoever this beep, 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 beep person was has had a week's worth of shopping off of me and had a nice takeout. I don't even like KFC. <laughs> That's what annoys me. 
too greasy. Right, anyway, so I'm here. My brain wasn't on focusing on this, sadly. So I needed to get all that cleared out of the way so I could focus on doing this journal for you guys. So I have done the box. It is finished. Um, I've varnished the top bit. So that's, um, well, no, it's stained, sorry. So I've got to varnish it. So I'll varnish the top bit to see what it looked like. So there's the top. And then we'll flip it over. And there's that side. Ooh. And then we will flip it over there. And there's that side. And then we have the birdie on that side. And then flip it over. And we have the owl on that side. So that's done. I've just got to line the inside, make sure that's ready. But today we are going to do the journal cover. <laughs> So, if nobody knows, uh, the Magic Forest is a stamp area paper pack, um, which I'm absolutely looking forward to getting creative with. So, I've got some bits and bobs there. It's going to entail a bit of sewing. And I've got to try and keep it centre because I need to make sure it fits in the box. I've dyed all my papers. So, I've got... Loads and loads of papers. Obviously, this is not all for one journal. Um, that is for another journal I've got in mind. Um, but yes, so we're going to get started. What I've been doing is I've been stamping. Uh, not stamping, stenciling. So I've got some stencils going on here, some inks just to keep it all going. So I've got that one as well, just to mush it up and give that, you know, rustic feel and then i've got some bits and bobs there which we're going to do okay so um oh yeah welcome all new subscribers thank you ever so much i do appreciate this truly and welcome back all my existing subscribers i appreciate you too as well i know i have been on another youtube channel um for some reason people have been automatically unsubscribed so please check out if uh, that's happened to you because it remember it's free free to subscribe and even to like and it's even even freer to comment on uh, anything that i do and anything that you'd like me to do to give you some inspiration in your arts and crafts right so happy days so what I'm going to do is I'm just going to go around, keep going around with different colours, not that colour, <laughs> not that brush, and add some different tones, like so. So how are you all doing? I hope you're doing absolutely fantastic, keeping yourselves out of trouble, I hope. I hope indeed. So, yeah, let's get loads of marks done. And layering is good as well. So, going over. And then we'll do all the back as well. So, I'm just using some of the Distress inks. And I've got Distress Oxide on there as well. And I'm getting loads all over me, as you do. Oh. Excuse me. And I've changed you around at the moment because I have been going downstairs filming when I was doing the box. <laughs> and I need to move a desk to get you back in that way, if you know what I mean. Right, okay, so there's that one. And we're going to add some blues because obviously there's blue to and greens to the um, paper pack. I hope everybody is keeping safe as well. I have been seeing what's going on in um, the news over in America. I hope you're all keeping safe. Oh, I did because I very rarely watch the news, and it's only the other night where I was just sat down. I just couldn't be bothered to do anything. And Phil goes, "Oh, have you seen what's been going on over here?" And the flash floods. Um, and then I was like, what, what is happening? What is happening? And like 
people being rescued and their homes being swept away. Um, also, like, um, was it yesterday, I think it was? Well, it might be a couple of days ago now when this video goes out. Um, with uh, Florida, and I'm like... I'm hoping, I'm hoping you're all staying safe. And if anybody's being affected, oh, prayers for you. Um, just please look after yourselves out there. That's all I ask is you look after yourselves and your loved ones. Yeah, this weather is like crazy, isn't it? Absolutely crazy because I know they said there was like tornadoes, multiple tornadoes in within the hour, and and your home's your home, isn't it? <laughs> so when that's all you've got, you, well, obviously it's not the only thing you got. You got your family and everything, but it's still you work hard for what you get, and Mother Nature like goes change my mind you're not having it today and I've lost the lid where I put that lid oh it's underneath yeah so it's like it's scary I mean and us British complain about a bit of rain and a bit of snow I don't I don't at all I don't mind bad weather the, you know the rain and the snow well the flurries of snow compared to what as other people have to go through i think we're quite fortunate in this country <laughs> um but yes i'm please please stay safe out there and i hope that's the end of it i mean as i couldn't believe it what was it they called it the hundred year um rain was it the hundred year flood Ray. Sorry, my brain hasn't been working very well in the last few days. And I was like, Phew. that's a lot for people to deal with, isn't it? And I watched um, a clip where, like, roads, just roads washed away and, like, trees just being ripped down. It's like, ow, ow. So when you look at the when you look at the sea, I mean, yeah, when it's a calm day or the rivers, you don't actually comprehend how dangerous it can be until you're in a situation, isn't it? Right, we're getting there, guys. So I just got any old rag, not rag, cloth, fabric. <laughs> Sorry, apologies. <laughs> Um, and just going around. So if, I mean, if you've got spare bits of fabric, do this. I mean, it's a great way um, to use up bits and bobs. Right, so, and then I've got these. Um, I'm going to sew around them. So I'm just trying to keep it central. So um, when this folds over, I know it's going to fit. That's what my idea is. Right, so I'm going to put that in. Um, isn't that great? This here. And then I'm just going to flippity jip that over that way. And then I've got some bark. So this um, will have um, varnish over it. So I'm not going to put that on yet because I need to varnish it up. And then I've got a couple of leaves. It will stick in like so so as you can see what I'm doing just like magic just put you there like that then I have a key because obviously it's a magic forest got to have a key to the kingdom and then this here so this is where I want to do all the like um scribblers you know um what can you call it so crazy sewing and i've got some twine that i want to sew into it so that's what i'm going to do next i'm going to press pause 
and get that done all right sorry i pressed stop on the video so hopefully this will sort of join in so <laughs> <laughs> okay it's having a moment right so i've just done this um sewn around these edges and then i've attached a key to obviously get into the magic forest and then i've used some twine that i've done zigzag um stitching on there i've also made a leaf if you can see and then what i want to do is i want to add some circles so you know where it swirls in through there that's what I want to do. I don't know whether to go that colour there and that into there. Oh, I quite like that. That looks good to me. I don't know about that though. I'm not 100% sure on that colour. So, I need to find another colour, don't I? <laughs> Just another colour. It needs to be a dark colour. So it stands out against the light there. Right, let's cut a bit of this off and see if we can do it with this, how this will look. Because then I want to um, stitch them on just to add that sort of rustic. So we've got that blue. I'm just going to draw a circle on it. Just as a guide. Just as a guide, you know. But yeah. Oh, forgot to say as well, um, on my Etsy is 25% off of 99.9% .9 of it. There's some new items on there, which is my wood burning. That's not a circle, is it, Claire? On my wood burning, so that's new in. Um, but everything else, there is 25% off, which is an autumn sale. Um, doing a spring clean. Well, see, I don't know if I like that either. <laughs> um, what else have we got? Oh, Clara, you've got so much fabric and you can't decide. What have we got in here then, Aiden? Anything for anything? Just a little bit. Okay, so... I want to do different sort of textures of fabric, you know, just make it look a bit different. That's all I want. Might have to be that, guys. What have we got here? Oh, oh, got some of this. That'd be nice. Maybe. Let's try a bit of that. I'm going to cut a snippet off in the corner. Just a snippet. And this is where Claire is going to attempt a freestyle <laughs> circle. Shall we see how we go? Okay. Well, that's better. That's not bad, is it, for a circle? So we'll put that one there. Actually, I quite like that. I prefer that. That one there. That one there. Let's do that one there. Right, okay. So we're just going to sew around those bits and get those done. She needs a cotton first. So I've got loads in here. I should have some in here and I might use that there because that's similar to the sort of colour um, of the book pages of the paper pack. So, do you know what? I might use, no, should I use two colours or should I just use one? Is that going to really stand out? Yeah, <laughs> that'll stand out. I haven't got my lamp in here because Phil's using it for the camper van because as soon as he gets home from work, he's out there. So he's got my big LED light out there. 
So I'm de being deprived of fake light. <laughs> right, okay. So let's... Where are we? So I'm just going to... Whip stitch around it. It's not without perfection. It should be a natural thing. Not like that though, eh? And my bit of um, bark that's um, been varnished and drying as we speak. So that will be on the next video when we start um, doing the construction of the inside. She says, if I don't hurt myself beforehand. Yeah, the camper van's coming on really, really lovely. So he's done, we call it the dunny. <laughs> it's a little little cubicle for the um, toilet. Uh, so, yeah, he's done that. But we've, well, when I uh, release the video, <laughs> it's on, um, which I've, uh, I upload and then I'll, um, you'll be able to watch them. If you're interested in camper van conversions, but it's uh, it's looking absolutely brilliant. So he's created the little room there, and next door to it is a shelving unit for our um, compressor fridge and the power banks because the big power bank is going to power everything. So we've got solar panels on the roof now, so they'll be charging up the power banks. Um, so we can go off grid a lot in the summer then obviously winter time there's not enough summer sun coming into them then we'll go on campsites because we don't mind campsites there's some nice ones around here um, and then he's last night he started constructing the kitchen area the other day I had to put all the um, flooring down glue all the vinyl flooring that was a bargain went into some places wanted like astronomical amount went into um b and q and they had them for the size we wanted down to 10 pound a roll <laughs> I was like, we'll have them one of them thank you very much so yes i was um very happy with that So yeah, hopefully this weekend, because it's my weekend off, I'll be um, supervising him on the construction of it and doing a bit more filming. And then once the kitchen's built, that's it, it's just a bed to build and captain's chair for the driver's side to put in. And then it's ready and raring to go. I've still got my little bits of decor that I've got to finish off in there. Oh, press pause. There we go. Are you back on. <laughs> yes. Sorry about that. Oh, post lady. Something for the camper van. For the little dunny room. Which I'm really looking forward to. Something a little bit quirky. We like quirky. But yes, yeah, so I've got um, wine boxes uh, for shelving to go in there. And I've turned small wine boxes into drawers. So they're going, they've got to go into there. What else have I got to do? Oh, some more um, upholstery. So I've got plenty to do to keep me out of mischief. I have. So yes, well, hopefully I'll be able to film some more this weekend. I've just got to make sure my phone's charged up. And that and the stand is ready. So yeah, I'm looking, I'm, I am. I'm so looking forward to it. And I cannot wait to go away 
in it as well. Hopefully we'll be able to do a day at Christmas or maybe in the new year because I don't want to rush him because bless him, he comes home straight home from work and goes straight out there. And then I've got to take it. So I put his tea in the oven and um, he has it when he when he's ready. <laughs> but I think he's just that he's got it in his mind that he's given himself a time scale of two months to get it done. And he's done so, so much already. So much. I mean, we've got the passenger seat in now. All the insulation's been done. Just got a bit of insulation to do on the sliding door and the bottom of the back doors. The top house have been done because he's got to take the panels off for me to... Oh, don't you dare. Oh, I knew that was going to happen. Um, for me to cut re-upholster. So... I might have to put a new thread on. I think. I think. Let's do that. Let's put a new one on. Just to be safe than sorry. Yeah, so. um. Yeah, I keep saying to him, I hope you're proud of yourself with what you've achieved so far. <laughs> And he's set up all the electrics in there. The only thing that's got to be attached now is the diesel heater. So, I mean, he's done absolutely amazing amount of work. And he feels like he hasn't. But from what it was to what it is now so far. And the best thing is, it's like my inspiration sort of rubs off on him. So, my idea... <laughs> The ideas I've come up with is like rubbed off on him and he's thought of new ideas and like they marry up perfectly. So bless him. He's like, it's nice to see his creativity and it should shine in the camper van because, I mean, it's not something that we're going to sell. It's something that we're going to enjoy and treasure and constantly go around in on our crazy adventures. Nowhere too exciting, I'm afraid. Sorry. <laughs> just nice places. I think sometimes you just need to get away, don't you? And breathe. I might go around this a bit more because it's really showing up the green, which is really nice. That I'm liking. So, what are you all up to? Have you been anywhere nice? I don't mind, I know that the school holidays are over and done with. But have you been anywhere nice if you haven't got the children? Any exotic countries sunning it up? Or adventures out into the forests and woodlands? Next month, we're going to go and stay in a yurt again. <laughs> I'm so looking forward to that. <gasps> it's because we went in the summer, so you couldn't really appreciate the um, log burner in there. And I said to my husband, I said, I'd love to be able to go and stay there with the old log burner roaring in the evenings. And they've got a big fire pit out um, by the front of it. So that you can do your cooking on the fire pit. And I said it'll be nice. Get some marshmallows and sit out there wrapped up. But the best bit about when I we stayed there the last time is I got up at like stupid o'clock in the morning. And I was sat outside for hours listening to all the birds and that, you know, them all waking up and coming to life and chirping away to each other. Yeah, I'm liking this um, 
going around a bit more with this. Could have got a smaller needle, <laughs> but this one was to hand. Went into the haberdashery shop the other day, and um, what was I picking out? Old oh, fabric. What was the fabric for? Oh, to do like a little curtain to cover where the um, power banks are going to go. And um, there was a lady there. She says, oh, she said, yeah, just these packing needles. She said, do you know what? She says, I've lost my needles. And I said, do you know what? I do that. I lose my needles and then like my crochet hooks. And then when I find them and put them all back together, I've got the multitude of the same size of crochet hooks of the needles <laughs> or i find loads of needles which the eye holes are so small that i can't even see them but yeah <laughs> at least i'm not the only one that loses things i need to go through everything and put them all in set places and when I finish using them, put them back in set place. <laughs> if that ever happens. Right, nearly done. And then I'll leave it for this video. And then the next video will be um, doing this, starting up on the inside and getting that built. And creating like fold fold out areas uh, with the um, paper pack so because I need to make sure that this is gonna work out and it's not going to be too big like I have done on previous stuff okay that's perfect I like that fabulous Let's use up those scraps, eh? <laughs> Perfect job. Did that go through? That did go through. Right. And snip that in the bin. You go. You up there so I don't lose you. So, yes. I'm going to... That's going to sit there. And then we're going to have that there. But I can't glue it down because I want that to go underneath. But the bark's got to go on first. So, the next time <laughs> you see this, <laughs> it'll be all attached and ready and raring to go. So, just all you need for a cover, if, especially if you're starting out in junk journaling, um, is... Scrap fabric, inks if you fancy, if you haven't got, um, if you've got a plain bit of fabric, just a bit of staining, um, you can do it with coffee and anything like that, food dye, stain it up, um, just, you, it's, it's blah, 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 start again, Claire, rewind, so, <laughs> All we've used today is some scrap fabrics, a couple of little brassy bits and some um, accessories. But we've already created 99% of a cover. So I hope you enjoyed this video. It's given you some inspiration. I hope it does. And if you've never tried junk journaling before, I hope that it gives you some ideas on maybe creating gifts for friends and family that you think that they would really like especially if they like writing you could create them a plain get a plain writing book and create a new cover for it it's that easy i hope you have a fantastic day and happy crafting everybody and i will see you on the next video hopefully fully brain in capacity mode <laughs> have a fantastic day happy crafting everyone take care bye